morning. Um, my presentation is quite simple and I hope will be quick enough. Um, so my name is Lisa Hurty. I'm the Senior Business Development Manager in Queen Mary, University of London, and I work on the translational research side. So looking at basic scientific research and finding collaborative opportunities. One of those being FP7 is quite important for us and that's hopefully what I'll lead on to at the end. Um, it's on the focus at the moment is nano encapsulation for delivery um, and mostly what we're working on at the moment is layer by layer um, encapsulation. So we can do a wide variety of um, active molecules, a, a wide variety of sizes. We look at the inner layers, outer layers, we try to link them with proteins, ligands and then receptor delivery. We'd like to do um, diagnostic at the same time, so we're looking at imaging in the capsules between different layers, which we have achieved as well. We work with our electronic engineering department um, on different remote controlled release. Uh, ORF has been something that we've been looking at and is proving quite successful. And I think the benefit in Queen Mary is we're quite a small university. Our science and engineering department that I work with um, works directly with the medical school. And the, with the medical school, we've got a lot of um, different diseases that we can work with. Traditionally, we would work with rheumatoid arthritis and cancer, but recently we've been working with the neuropathology department and central nervous system diseases are something that we'd like to kind of take forward in the future. And this encapsulation that we've done, we've just managed to deliver to neurons and we think we've done it quite successfully, bearing in mind that the funding for this is quite limited. So you can see that our capsules are the yellow, the nucleus is the blue, um, and there's another picture here. So what we want to do is take this forward. Um, what we think is we want to look at, well, ideally the blood-brain barrier is a target, but also avoiding it. I think the blood-brain barrier is the holy grail. Um, so we're looking at targeting axial junctions as well, muscle and skin, intranasal, intracranial. And for the project, it's an FP7 project, title will be next. We want to work with pharmaceutical companies who have therapies that they know work or think could work better with enhanced delivery. We would like to work with imaging companies because we'd like to image and see what's going on while it's going on. And I suppose the one that everybody wants is the biomarkers. Internally in Queen Mary, we were quite lucky because we have a lot of biomarkers, but it's a European project, so we can't use all of ours. And ideally, our capsules are good, but I think as partners, it would be better to have a few other encapsulation technologies. So the project is this one here. The deadline is the 4th of November. We're doing quite well. We have a team together, but we're looking for more partners as it's a large project. The actual amount of money that we'll ask for will depend on the partners. And I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much.